Girls, hurry up. You're going to need to get a lot of sleep. We're leaving first thing in the morning. This isn't fair. Why do we even have to move? Yeah, I don't want to go back there. We left for a reason. Girls, you know why we have to leave. Now please get to bed. Come on, everyone. The restaurant's not going to be open forever. Honey, I have Carly. And the twins are right here, but what about Lizzie? She's upstairs. Thank you, Ava. I'll go get her. <laughs> Help! going to be late. Indy. Uh, fine. What took you girls so long? Yeah, we we're about to leave without you. <laughs> no, just shut up, Carly. Vani. <sighs> Take their old rooms. Yay! Okay. Huh. Whew. Hey, Andy, you almost done? Yeah. I'm almost done, but do you know where Mom put my guitar? Um, I think she put it in the study. Okay, I'll be right back. Got it. Hmm, nope. <sighs> Ow! What is this? Hey, Indy, are you coming? Oh yeah, I am. Sorry. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Nindy, I've been wondering, what if tomorrow at school- Girls, it's dinner time. We can finish unpacking afterwards. Let's go, Ava. Yeah. So, Carly, how's your first day back going? It's been going amazing. I'm so happy to be back, and I made my bed all cozy, and then I started thinking about Lizzie, and- Ugh, shut up, Carly. Avani, that's the second time today. I'm sorry that I don't want to live in the same house that my sister died in. Ava, she might not be dead. Right, Indigo. It's been six years. She can't survive without food and water. Avani, that's enough. Go to your room. Oh wow, don't you feel powerful? You know, we're only living in this death trap because you couldn't sell it and you lost your job and your parents didn't want us to live with them. This is all your fault, so I find it interesting that you're the one to talk. Go. <sighs> Fine. How about you girls go get ready to shower? Okay. <laughs> Ava? <laughs> Ava, are you okay? I'm, I'm just scared. Like, what if I lose Levi, or Luke, or Carly, or you? I'm scared too, but Ava, you can't live in fear. You'll never get anywhere. It's gonna be okay. Thanks, Indy. I don't know what I'd do without you. <clears throat> Girls, it's 11.15. You should be in bed. Sorry, Mom. Good night, guys. Night. Good night, girls. Please get to sleep quickly. You have school in the morning. <sighs> what the heck is- 
is that? Oh, whatever. It's probably nothing. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Come on, Ava. We have school. Okay. Jeez. Hmm. What should I wear? What the heck is that? Coming. Come on, Ava. Okay. What do you have for first period? I have math. Same. Can I see your schedule? Sure. Just don't mess it up like you did last time. Okay, well, we were being chased by a vicious dog and I accidentally dropped it. It was a poodle. Whatever. Anyway, we have all periods together except for third. What do I have for third? You have art and I have Spanish. Now come on, we better get moving. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, my locker's over there. Bye, Eva. Bye, Indy. See you soon. Hello class, welcome back to math. Today we'll be continuing our projects. Also, we have two new students, Indigo and Ivani. My name is Miss Cook. Can someone please answer the drill question on the board? Indigo? You can't simplify because it's a trick question. Fantastic job, Indigo. I had your sister a while back before you guys moved. So how is Lizzie doing? She was a great student with straight A's and she made the honor roll. She, she's... <laughs> What's wrong, Indigo? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Lizzie's dead. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I I'm so sorry. I must have forgotten. Yeah, well, I'm sorry too. <laughs> Avani Anderson, come with me. Who the heck are you? I am Miss Taylor, the principal of this school. And if you don't follow me, you are going to be suspended immediately. Got it? Fine. <clears throat> so, not only did you yell at a teacher, but you also left the classroom without a hall pass. You have lunch attended for the next month. But you don't understand. She asked how my dead sister was doing. Oh, is that so? Then I guess you have two months of lunch attention for back-talking me. But three months? Fine. Now get to class now before it becomes four months. Okay. So, I heard that you got a month of lunch detention. Eh, make that three. I sort of protested a little. Ava? Well, if it isn't the girl who got lunch detention on her first day and her crybaby sister, please leave us alone. Why should I? <laughs> <laughs> Just go away, whoever you are. No, I'm Claudia Taylor, the daughter of Miss Taylor, which means I'm a part of the richest family in the country, seventh richest in the world. No one cares how rich you are. <laughs> yes, they do. Anyway, let's go, Marley. Let's go, Ava. Hi, girls. Welcome home. How was your day? A lot better than Ava's. Indy? Why? What happened, Ava? You can tell me. I got lunch tension for three months. <gasps> what happened? What did you do? I'll tell you later. I have homework that I need to attend to. Avani, get back here! I can't hear you. Um, I have homework too. <sighs> Girls, get down here. It's dinner time. So in to go. Your mother has told me that you've done well today. Um, I guess so. And Devani, she also told me about you. So? What's that supposed to mean? Eva, calm down. What about you, Lizzie? How was your day? I, I, um, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Let's just finish up.
<laughs> Payback, but seriously, come on, we have school. Okay. <sighs> What? What is it? Ava, promise me that you'll stay out of trouble today. I'll try, but I can't make any promises. Ava! Fine. Indy, I'll do it for you. But I gotta go get my makeup work from yesterday. Bye. Bye, Ava. <laughs> Look, Mar. It's the crybaby. Crybaby, crybaby. <laughs> Ow! my leg. Here, I'll help. Thanks. Aren't you in my Spanish class? Oh yeah, and math. Cool. I'm Indigo, but you can call me Indy. I'm Liana. And I'm sorry about Claudia. She's my... Never mind. Girls, please get to class. We better get going. Yeah. Liana, do you want to come over after school? Really? Okay, thanks. Finally. Hey, Ava. Hey, Indy. Who's this? This is my friend Liana. She's coming over. Nice to meet you, Liana. I'm Avani, but I go by Ava. Thanks, it's nice to meet you too. And Avani is such a pretty name. Wow, thank you. Oh wow, look who it is, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Liana found some friends as annoying as she is. Go away! Um, no. <laughs> so yesterday I asked my sister Clarity. Your sister's name is Clarity? <laughs> So anyway, I asked her about Lizzie. She said she was good at tissues and nerd, and that she was always up in other people's business. I guess her disappearance was a good thing. <laughs> Ugh. You animal, get away from me. Ugh. You said it, Marley. Come on, guys, they're not worth it. Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. Who's this? Mom, this is Liana. Hello, Liana. You can call me Miss Anna. It's great to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, ma'am. Now I won't keep you ladies too long. Go off and have fun. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you guys want to do? I don't know, but I've been thinking about what Claudia said. What do you mean? What if Lizzie is still out there? Like, what if she's not actually dead? Ava, you said it yourself. It's been six years. But didn't they say she was kidnapped? What if we could find her? Well, I guess we could try. I think the best thing to do would be to look for clues in our room. I mean, someone wouldn't kidnap her for no reason. I agree. That is a good idea. But Ava, Mom doesn't like it when we go in there. Then we'll wait until she's gone. Okay. okay. Girls, I'm about to pick up Carly from school, so call me if you need anything. Let's go. Wow, it's such a mess. What are we looking for? Her diary. Let's go. Guys, I found it. I found her diary. Then let's go. Mom's going to be home any minute. <laughs> oh, dang it. That's my mom. I have to go. Aw, uh, okay. Bye, Liana. Bye. Bye, guys. Indigo, Avani, please come down for dinner. Let's go. So, Liana seemed nice. Yeah, she is. What did you girls do? Oh, um, nothing much. We just made some crafts and started a movie. Well, that sounds like some fun. May we be excused? Of course. So anyway, Carly, do you want to help me decorate Luke and Levi's room tomorrow? I feel like we should use some... Hey, guys. Hey, Liana! So did you guys find anything useful? Nah, we were waiting for you. So, let's get the diary. Okay. Wow, she started this when she was five. Well, we obviously don't have enough time to start from the beginning. So let's start like three months before she disappeared. Okay. November 3rd, 2013. Dear diary, Today I aced my big math test. 
and got a 90 on my art project. Now time for some bad news. Clarity stole my library book and it's due tomorrow. Then she started bragging about being rich again. I really don't know what to do, so I'm probably going to ask my friends for help. Anyway, dinner's ready, so I better get going. XO, XO, Lizzie. Well, that's not very helpful. Go to like a month before it happened. Dear Diary, Today I found a really weird book in this study that talked about a secret room. So now my goal is to find the secret room. And I also want to find my favorite bookmark, because I think I left it in the book. Anyway, that's really it, so bye. XOXO Lizzie. A secret room? What the heck? Hold on, Ava, go to like a week before it happens. Dear diary, today was crazy. In the morning, I found the secret room, and then I was studying in the library during free period, and I overheard something horrible. I want to write it down, but I need to be positive that what I heard is true. XOXO Lizzie. Whatever she heard is probably important. Go to the last entry. Okay, January 12th, 2014. That's the day she disappeared! I know, here's what it says. Dear Diary, today I figured it all out. I have all the details, but it's dangerous for me to know this information, and they're on to me. Every year, two specific people pay a man who works at a horse race. He sabotages the race so they're guaranteed to win. Tomorrow, I'm going to report my discovery to the police. And like I said before, knowing this information is putting me in danger, and I know that. That's it. Oh my gosh. Whoever rigs the horse race has Lizzie. No! No, no they don't! Yes, we need to find the secret room. What do you mean? If we follow in Lizzie's footsteps, maybe we'll find her. That makes sense. Well then, how do we find it? Um, maybe we can check the study or something like that? I, I really have no idea. I think we should pick up this conversation in the morning. It is 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, good night, guys. <sighs> what the heck is that? Guys, wake up. What time is it? That's not important. Listen. I heard that the other day. Me too. It kind of sounds like someone's banging on the walls. You mean like Lizzie? I don't know, but guys, we need to sleep. Good night. Good night. night. <laughs> Lizzie, what are you doing? Hello, I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Have you been pounding on the walls again? What? No. Ow! For the last time, just stop it. No one's going to hear you. So all you're doing is hurting yourself. How do you keep getting in here? Don't people live in my old house? Why would I tell you? Anyway, your breakfast is on the floor, so eat right now so I can tie you back up. <laughs> Guys, wake up. We need to get started. <sighs> okay. So, what are our plans? Last night I hardly slept because I wanted to come up with a plan. I think we first need to find the secret room. That's a good idea. I just don't know how to approach the situation. Do any of you guys have an idea? Not really. We need to find the book that Lizzie used. Did she say what it was called? No, but could it be in her room? Nah, mom doesn't let us take books out of the study. Well then let's go check the study. Good idea. Yeah. I'll take the left, Ava and Lee. You guys take the right. I think I found it. Really? Yeah. Look, there's her bookmark. <gasps> Read the page the bookmark's on. Okay, chapter 16, a room behind the walls. It says to complete the page, but Lizzie already did. She uncoded a message. It says... To push the button and unlock the door. To find the key, you have to pull on me. What? Well, who wrote the book? It's I, a witch. What an interesting name. Well, that's not his real name. Well, hopefully not. But don't you see? When you pull on him, you find the key. Is there like a statue of a witch or something? Let's check. Well, I don't know about a statue, but look at that book. It's called Witch, and it's by the same guy. Pull on it. I 
don't get it. What was supposed to happen? I don't know. <gasps> Here you go. What is it? Follow me. Oh my gosh. Well, now that we know where the entrance to the secret room is, we need to find our proof and then figure out who did it. Crud, that's my mom. Girls, I was just speaking with Liana's mom. Liana's going to be staying with us for the next couple of days while our mother's on a business trip. Yay! Yes. <clears throat> now I'll go get you girls some lunch. Thanks, Mom. Let's go back to my room. So, how are we going to find out who rigs the horse race? We'll follow in Lizzie's footsteps. The horse race is next week, so let's meet at the library on Tuesday. Hopefully, whoever rigs the horse race will be there. And then we can catch them. Good idea, Ava. <gasps> Wait a minute. Liana, what's wrong? Hold on. I just need to grab my laptop. There's something that you guys are going to have to see. It's the Taylors. They've won every year. Holy crap, they have Lizzie. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What does this mean? But how do they get in the secret room? It doesn't make sense. It's connected to our house. I don't know. We'll worry about this later. We have some more important things to do. We're going to meet up in the school library at 9 on Tuesday. Hey guys. Shh, look. Thank you for coming. We better get started. Which number would you like? Hmm, have I done 14 yet? <clears throat> you did it two years ago. Oh, well then how about we go with 11? And where's the money? Here, now don't let me down or you'll be paying me. And don't think I'm kidding. I've done it before, haven't I? Of course, madam. All right, then I better get going. Let's go. Hey, guys. So, what's our plan? Well, one of us has to have their phone ready to call the cops. And another one of us has to record everything. Okay, I'll record it. And I'll have my phone ready. When should we go? The second mom's out of the house. Okay, we better get going. Guys, I don't want to sound dumb or anything, but I'm really nervous. What if we shouldn't be doing this? Well, do you want to find Lizzie or not? I know, Indy, but it's just, this is dangerous and I'm nervous. Same. I am too, but guys, we've come so far and it's just a matter of time before the Taylors know that we know their secret and then they'll come after us. Girls, I'm going to pick Levi and Luke up from daycare. I'll be back soon. Bye, Miss Anna. Get your phones ready. Where's the key? Oh, um, I have it right here. Uh, sorry, I'm nervous. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's start recording. I don't understand. This doesn't make sense. We've done so much research. How is she not here? Guys, look. They're Lizzie's. Another door. Come on, let's go in. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Lizzie? How do you know my name? Who are you? Lizzie, it's me. Avani, uh, and you're Indigo, and you're not Carly. Who are you? This is our friend, Liana, and I can't believe it's you. We've missed you so much. I thought you all left. We did, but we're back now. And how did you guys find me? We, uh, we sorta... We've read your diary. 
Don't worry, I'm not mad. I'm actually super glad you found it, but we need to go. Clarity will be here any minute to bring me dinner. Lizzie, what happened to your hands? When I was alone, I would pound on the walls and hope that someone would hear me and maybe come find me. That was you? Lizzie, I have your di- Oh my gosh, how did you get in here? I know what you did, and the second we get out of here, we're gonna call the cops. Hmm, some smart kids. Too bad you're never getting out of here. No, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere. Help! Let her go! Never. Guys, just go! No way, Lee. We're not leaving you. What are we gonna do? I have a plan. Distract her. Okay. So, Clarity, is it true that your family is the richest in the state? Well, now that you ask- Ow! Hey, come back! Hurry. <gasps> Indigo, call the cops. Okay, hello? Open up. No. Guys, the police are coming soon. We're home. What's that? Nothing. What's going on? Who's behind the door? And where did that door come from? And who are you? Wait a minute. Lizzie? <sighs> Mom, get up. But what? Mom, there's no time to explain. Just help us hold the door. All right, but who's behind the door? It's the Taylors. They're the ones that kidnapped me. Why? Because Lizzie found out that they rigged the horse race every year, so they aren't legally rich. How did you figure this out? I overheard a meeting they had about it. And we found Lizzie's diary. We're here. <gasps> ah! <gasps> You're all under arrest. No! Yes. Take them away. It's great to see you again, Lizzie. It's great to be back. You three girls did amazing. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I didn't think I'd get out of there. And Liana, I'm not even your sister, and you still helped me. Of course I did. I'm always willing to help. Mom, what are you doing here? Don't you have work? I do, but I came back anyway. Well, you can go back now. No, Liana, I came to bring you home. So please say your goodbyes. But I like it here, so how about you go back to work and I'll stay here for the rest of my life. What do you think? Don't be silly, Liana. I'm going home and you're coming with me. But Mom, I was supposed to stay for two more days. Liana, I drove a long way to get here. Now come on, we're leaving. Fine. Bye, Liana. Bye, Bye Liana. How could you?